And we're back live from Amsterdam at the ThinksCon 2017 conference. And together with me here is uh, Ewald Karel, Innovation Manager of T-Mobile. And yeah. as we discussed a little bit before, he's a bit of a dark horse here. Uh, uh, um. Correct. Correct. Yeah, well, uh, what you see is that uh, a lot of the attendants and, uh, and all of the, the guests that are speaking, that, you know, and those are explorers. They are exploring a new world. And, and when you speak of T-Mobile, you know, it's a little bit of an exploitation company. Huh? So we, we know our product, we know our market, and we're already doing stuff in there. Um, but of course, we also want to do something with IoT, and, uh, and, and, and that's something which requires exploring. So this is an exploitation company coming to join the exploration. <laughs> and to, to just uh, steal some ideas. Well, not steal it so much. Uh, I think we can also contribute, uh, you know, quite substantial because, because I think that, that everybody here, but also uh, everybody in the, in the exploitation world has their, ha they have their own craftsmanship. And so they have specific knowledge on, on certain topics. And, uh, and for us, the craftsmanship is of course connectivity. And we connect, well, people nowadays, but also, uh, uh, we can also bring this connectivity towards, uh, towards things. And yeah, I think our craftsmanship really lies in, uh, in connectivity and, and, and all of our knowledge that, you know, that we can bring that towards, uh, towards the audience. Do you, how do you bring that? I mean, are there, are there actually programs or situations where you just collaborate with, uh, um, with startups? Or well, exactly like that. Uh, so, so I think that, uh, that innovation like this and, and also what I told uh, everybody on stage is this, there is the, 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 the way of innovation where, for example, if you, if you look at, um, well, look at Silicon Valley, for example, and, and, and pretty much all of the American and Anglo-Saxon uh, models, uh, they, they do it with uh, um, a win-lose situation. Uh, so if I win, you know, uh, I have all of the VC money and all of the, the finance. Um, and then the other one is competition. Well, I think that, 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 that well, all of Europe basically has, has the, we have the Rhineland culture. And, and within this Rhineland culture, uh, there is cooperation. So this is, the IoT is suited, is perfectly suited for a cooperation model because, because I have a craftsmanship which in, in connecting, but I, have, I, I cannot do anything with, with hardware. Hardware is hard. And so you need to connect a hardware guy to somebody that knows everything about connectivity, to an app builder, for example. We can build an app, of course, but, but, but basically we're paying somebody to do that for us. So, so somebody who has the craftsmanship to really build an app and, and, and do a decent job. And, and for example, here there's a lot of designers, people that, that really want to do and build something beautiful with it. Uh, you know, you have to mold that all into something new and, um, and, and that will provide more value than, um, uh, you know, that provide. But, but uh, um, uh, can, can you give some examples of what you do? Are there, are there currently designers or, or startups or yeah, anything yeah, yeah. are you working of course, with? Of course, uh, so, so what you now see is that, that a lot of the, th the things that are being connected uh, have to do with uh, the optimization of, 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 of well, basic uh, corporate objectives. Eh? But, but there's also, um, well, a good example is Naui. Naui is, uh, uh, is a company uh, uh, from Yes Delft. Uh, those guys have found something beautiful, namely that they have a sensor which doesn't require any battery or charging. Uh, they take the, uh, the radio signals that, you know, companies like T-Mobile put into the air. So we have this, this gigantic masts all over uh, NL, and we put in uh, uh, electricity uh, that can tr transfer to a radio signal. They get the radio signal on, onto the device, charge, well, basically some sort of a battery or an accu, uh, it's a basically a condenser. And with that, uh, they do a measurement, send it out, and go back to harvesting again. So those guys, you know, they had a brilliant application, brilliant uh, a new uh, piece of hardware. Uh, we can handle a lot of the communication because we can do that with, uh, with narrowband IoT. We can do that really um, uh, at a low energy level. And then, uh, then, you know, we came to, for example, BAM, uh, which is one of the biggest infrastructure uh, companies in the Netherlands. And they said, you know, what we would like to do is we would like to measure uh, pieces of the asphalt um, because uh, the asphalt uh, is, uh, you know, salt hurts the asphalt, but it also hurts the environment around it. So you want to put as little salt, uh, so if it's not necessary, you don't want to put salt there. Eh? And, um, 
And nowadays, the asphalt cannot speak to you, so we drive all of the asphalt full of salt. Uh, well, most, most of the time, it isn't really, really necessary, at least on certain places. So now the asphalt can start to talk to you. And it, it becomes possible because you have a totally new hardware technology that doesn't require charging because, of course, all of this wouldn't be possible if you have to revisit you know, every hour, every uh, so and so many weeks. And put a new battery to, in. Put, put a new battery in. Um, so you see that something new with, with a new connectivity that, that re requires a, a lot less energy and, uh, and uh, the, the salt application. And so bam, can, then we can really build something new. And right. I, so how, how, did, how did it work? I mean, did they call you? They said to say uh, they they no, they, no, they, they sent a tweet to to and yes. said, "Hey, can we work together?" Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's not really like that. It's more like uh, I think the attitude that that uh, that the startup within T-Mobile because we're not doing this. So the IoT team at T-Mobile is a startup within a corporate, um, and that immediately. Uh, has the exploration feel, so it's really open. And and uh, and at all of the stages where I am, I, I ask this question: like, what can connectivity do for your craftsmanship? And then a guy from the bomb stands up and he says, "Well, I would like to measure asphalt temperature because you know that would help." And then the guys. Uh, it was another conference, but that was at, uh, at the tech uh, uh, event. And then the guys from Naui stood up, and then we could combine the two. But, but only if you do it like that, then beautiful things happen. Uh, the same thing with the alpaca tracker. Um, do you know what an alpaca is or not? Yeah. 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 Oh, seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. Uh, but but uh, for the audience, it's, it's a big llama, and, uh, and they have fantastic wool. Yeah. I from, didn't know that. From so the belly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, only from the belly. Oh, seriously? Yeah. I, I didn't know. But, but at least uh, th these guys, uh, uh, alpaca farmer called me and he said, you know, I, want, I would like to, um, uh, because alpacas are really, really expensive. Didn't know that, uh, uh, know that either. But the, uh, I would like to track this animal because they get stolen. And they get stolen a lot. And, and he was, uh, it was uh, a year ago, so it was 2016. He said, we must be able to track this animal. And uh, I said, yeah, of course. So, but I don't know hardware, I don't know animal tracking stuff, so I called somebody, uh, Peter Hoendeken from the Internet House, and, and he does hardware uh, mostly in uh, agricultural settings. So I called him and he said, you know, you know, is there something that we could do? Yeah, of course, we could do that. And uh, you could do, just do that with, for example, a collar or stuff like that. Yeah, we've been so, tracking cows for ages. And exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. So um, uh, I, I, I said the same thing. So I called back to the alpaca farmer. I said, you know, uh, we could just do a uh, collar and then we're done. And he said, yeah, well, about, uh, first off, my craftsmanship is breeding alpaca, so I don't want anything scooping up because uh, okay. we have them for the wool, maybe not only for the belly, but they have a long neck and, and that thing goes uh, up and down. But, but also, you know, they will cut the collar, and <laughs> then the collar will be in the in yeah. the in, in the meadow. But but uh, the alpaca will be driving um, towards Germany. So um, you need to find something uh, different. So we found out that um, uh, I, I had to do something on the inside of an alpaca, and um, uh, uh, so but. Again, not my craftsmanship. You know, I know about connectivity. I don't know about the inside of an alpaca. So we, we uh, found a uh, well, a veterinarian, and then the veterinarian helped us. And the, she said, you know, you, you can. Uh, alpaca has a stomach, a digestive system with a stomach, which has a top entrance and a top exit. So whenever you shoot like a, a little uh, uh, bolus, it's called. It's like a donut shape. Uh, whenever you shoot that into the stomach of the animal, then it lies there. It doesn't go out. The animal's not hurt. By it, but um, but it, it's just there, and, and you can broadcast from within the alpaca. <laughs> so brilliant! So we got connected to alpacas. We uh, had got, yeah. got the, and and the, the fun thing is that then uh, I called again back to the alpaca farmer. He said, "Wow, this is brilliant!" But but whenever my uh, my farmers are uh, looking at the uh, and uh, sitting on the couch, they need to be uh, warned that their alpaca is driving to, uh, towards Germany with 120 miles an hour. So um, you need to build me something of an app. And so I said, "Okay, now let's l l look for an app." And then I found. So I, p I put it up, and uh, and I found that. Um, a company from South Africa said, you know, we are, our craftsmanship is building apps, so we are going to do this for you, and we're going to do it for you for free. 
There's one thing, uh, in South Africa we have a lot of uh, rhino poaching and, uh, and elephant poaching, uh, so you need to look uh, and find out if this could also be tracking elephants and rhinos. So I called back to the veterinarian and she said, you know, same digestive system. And, and then you see that the market grows from Dutch alpacas to tracking rhinos and elephants in South Africa. And all of a sudden you're tracking all animals in the world. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, with the yeah. correct digestive system. Sure, but, sure. But, but you know, yeah. you see how... Well, that's great how that goes. Yeah, so yes. the ecosystem, people just helping each other, and you yes. just play one part of it. And uh, so no, it's just a tiny change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you're open for you're, you're like a startup within T-Mobile. You yep. start, so you're open to work with people. People can connect uh, to you and exactly. say, okay, uh, I've got a brilliant idea, um, but I, I I lack connectivity, and yep. uh, um, and can you provide it? And you work something out. Yeah, right. Yep. So one one last topic I just briefly want to discuss because yep. uh, the main one of the main topics here is, is talking about uh, ethics and privacy and things by design. Yes. Um, how do you deal with that? Well, uh, well that's, that's quite a broad topic, eh? so there's a lot of that, but... Um, um, Surely, but do you have something in place within, uh, because uh, traditionally telcos uh, love to, to harvest a lot of data. Uh, yes, um, well we uh, cannot anymore, eh? because no. of the GDPR uh, sure, regulations. Sure, but, so. but uh, uh, as, as your own startup within the corporation, do you have a different set of rules, or if you have some sort of a business rules or ideas about how you deal with that? Well, uh, the data of uh, any device Belong, should belong to the user. So um, I think that core principle is uh, where all of the ethics form around. Um, we don't own it, it's your data, and you should be doing whatever you want with it. And um, well, from an innovation perspective, I could imagine that I could help you help you sell it, but, um, uh, but I don't want to do anything with that data myself. Uh, actually, I don't think even uh, the whole concept of that is, uh, for, from a telco perspective, is, is really something that we could do, because um, if the, the, the visions become true, we will see billions and billions of devices all used for all sorts of you know, from tracking to measuring uh, core temperature within the haystack, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be everywhere. You know, it, it is unmanageable for me if, if, I don't, um, uh, if I don't know the application of a temperature sensor. So it could be in the asphalt, could be in a haystack, could be in somebody's uh, own room. Uh, I, I don't think, um, I, I think we eventually, you always need the user. Um, to, to tell you or to tell um, those who want to use the data where is this uh, device located and what is it actually measuring before it will make sense. So I think that, uh, that we're going to go to a time where, where users will, will eventually um, you know, own their own data and will be able to you know, even maybe uh, sell it. Right. And you're a big supporter of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that will be. Uh, I think also uh, uh, from from a telco perspective, we the telcos have been pushed into a bit pipe uh, bit pipe strategy, just because of all of the whole realm of, of companies that are are acting on the on the data that you know goes through my pipe. Let me you know put it back into the hands of the consumer again, and, and it will be brilliant. Sam. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks very much. Anytime. So this was another episode at uh, uh, the ThinksCon 2017. We were live here from Amsterdam and we're gonna be live the rest of the afternoon, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm.